Aye. 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 I was moving in second. I didn't hear you. Just taking now an open session. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is item seven, consideration relative report on redevelopment initiatives. Patrick? And so we're just waiting for the slides to catch up. On 116th and Morgan, we had our That's environmental. That's my house. Yes, we had our environmental <laughs> consultant um, submit everything to the state. And based on the, the findings that we had there, and I, I think I alluded to this before, that the um, site came back as pretty much as developable. We have probably less than two, less than an acre of methane where that could be parking or it could be an amenity of some sort, and you can develop around that. Let's just say two acres. She said two, one to two acres of, is where the methane is. 14, almost 15 acres of land. Um, so, you know, just for, I know this has come up here frequently, and I always say I'll come back in two weeks, or, or my predecessor also said that, but we're at a <laughs> point, <laughs> um, we're at a point where um, we can, you know, we're just waiting for the final communication from the DNR and saying, yeah, we agree with that. Yes, we, it's developable. But our consultants is in a position saying that if the city wanted to do something here, the things to keep in mind, it still needs a, a, a cap, which could be parking or engineered barrier of some sort, the slab of a building. The one thing I just have to double check is ba if basements are allowed. Yeah, that's what I was, I, was my I, question. I, right, I'll double check that. I just, for some reason, that's slipping my mind. And she sent me a paragraph right up on it, our consultant, and I don't recall seeing the word basement. But if it had a basement, most likely you would put in something called like a, a, a passive venting machine, which is like a radon. A radon. Yeah, so that the, any vapors would go above any window. And it goes out the roof with a little fan or something. Um, but nothing that would... I think impact the full redevelopment of that site. So there are, um, Milwaukee County does own the landfill to the west. And we did have a conversation. Um, we had an in, uh, uh, intergovernmental kind of discussion, Milwaukee County. Yeah, Patrick, that's Milwaukee County, not the city of Greenfield? It's in the city of Greenfield, owned by Milwaukee County. Okay, thank it's you. It's a former Alice Chalmers landfill. It is zoned residential, that, that parcel. But um, I think the sewage district is looking at that site to put um, some soils there. I, you know, I'm curious on that as well, how much dirt, what it is, and, and where the trucks are going and, and things like that. I, the, we had a discussion with the city of Greenfield's mayor on Tuesday regarding all that. And then what we plan to do with our site, and is there some sort of way that we can all work together. Mm -hmm. Excuse so, me, Patrick. Yes. Mr. Clark had a question. There are three city leaders here. What's going on from a city perspective relative to this site? Yeah, the public works building and the public works use. Nothing right now. I mean, we're pursuing um, acquisition of some properties to build a new public works facility, but that's in the process and it's not quite frankly going to take place overnight mm -hmm. it's I think we're going to end up in court and things to, to accomplish that and until we get that solution we really can't vacate um, that property entirely anyway yeah it, it, you know, the, what happens there it's addresses here with all the things that services that we provide or store at this site so so there's really nothing to do at this time. We have a position where at a certain point when it's ready, we can start going down the, the route of development. Good. So what's there for utilities? There's no sewer there? There's, there's no water? I'm not aware of there being water or sewer to the site. So we probably have to get power, yeah. all the utilities. The county has a bill bar, some kind of a garage or a shed. Well, we have a, a shed on our property. I'm not... I have, I have to go out and take a look at this. Like Greenfield stores their lease. I think, I think there's an opportunity where maybe Greenfield and West Dallas should look for ways to solve the leave issue. Um, yeah. I think that would Are we be. We still landfilling leaves. I'm not aware of that. I, I just always been told that it's composted yeah, and, they're just and ground there. up. We are. And oh, that's right. The blue organic people come and take it. Yeah. So then, what they do with it? it I guess we don't care. But right. they have the compost uses that they so I think I, the answer is no I just wanted to bring you an update that this is where we're at and 
I think we're at a little holding pattern from here. But until it's good news that only one or two of the 15 acres are, right. are not buildable. And the area to the south of our site, which is in Greenfield, um, is also a contaminated impacted property, I understand, between the circle development that you see that we've often looked at in Greenfield and said, wouldn't that be nice? Those are sell or that's impacted. Um, maybe that's developable. The Greenfield was saying that that could probably be developable. Just it's as they said it's impacted too. That whole area is just full of foundry sand and historic industrial items. We a new foundry to town, yeah. <laughs> but with white sand, a white foundry. So yeah, on the slide, what's that picture? Is that what our parcel can be? Yes. What, you got got that figured out already? Wow. We, did, we did that like, a few years ago. Almost 19 years ago. 15 oh, okay. years ago. <laughs> okay, okay. About. What was that? 15 years ago. <laughs> it was bottled after uh, Cherokee Point in Milwaukee. So it's the same type of density. Oh, it has sure. like some eight and six unit stuff, and then it goes to single family. Is what that is. So that's a mix of apartments and single family. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's just one idea. Yeah. 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 15 years ago, we could probably do better now. Right. And then, uh, what else do we have? That's the, only thing. That's the only thing we really wanted to go over at this point. Any other questions regarding any of those items? Yes, I have something. Go ahead. Mr. I don't know. I guess we can't talk about it because I don't see it on the agenda, but I'd sure like an update on this floundering church project, the 92nd and Greenfield. Hmm. It just seems to be languishing. Nothing's been knocked down, I don't believe. I can t t give you an update after the meeting on it. Um, I don't have it on. We don't, we'll don't. we add it to the list in the future. Has that developer disappeared? No. Um, we've met with them within the last two weeks. Okay. If there's no further questions regarding any of these items, can I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. 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 All in favor, please say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming.